Alright, welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon, guys. This is episode 2. Right starting off, we are hearing about the TES from Ninvento. And Juan Carrot has not even started getting sold yet. There we go. Let's generate a game report. Let's see how bad carrot simulation games are. Research points. Contract work. I've finished ha Juan Carrot, and I'm impressed by your talent. Are you really sure that was my worst game? Well, I'm glad to hear Jason likes me. I'm in the contracting business, and we could use skills like yours. If you're ever on short on cash, just let me know, and I'll see if I work for you. So now, what I can do is do contract work as soon as this report's over. Alright. Virtual pet and simulation is a great combination. I have that going down. Simulation and G64 are a good combination. Engine is important. Knew, all, knew most of that. So now that we can do contract work, where if I press one of these buttons, it'll have me on the countdown, and I will start pumping out the points. So, once I match all, if I match all these, I'll get through it. So the only way you can really fail this is if you scratch your head throughout the whole thing. Usually. Sometimes it's just too much for you to handle. So now I'm going to research a custom game engine, because that's what we've been waiting for this whole time. They are crucial to succeeding in this game. Also, if you notice, we have $200,000 over what we started with in episode 1, which is really cool. So there we go. So now I have a custom game engine, and now I can make game tutorials. So now my research things will start encompassing more stuff as the game goes on. And now I can make custom game engines. See right here is the 2D graphics, and then I can say, put in save game and stuff like that. However, because Juan Care is about to run out of steam here, I need to make another game to get through to making to making that. So we're going to do a hacking simulation game. It's going to be called um, Devin Gets You. I don't know. Wait, no, I got that one. No, I don't. All right, yeah, we'll just do it. Devin Gets CPU. Gets your CPU. Here we go, simulation, double plus, 2D graphics, here we go. Plop, plop, here we go, let's start. So a lot of this I can really just recycle from last time, I think. Because I know a little bit more. This has only got two pluses on it, so I wonder if there's more to that than I thought. I still like having my storyline existing. I don't care what they say, if it's like triple, dipple fish negative, I don't care. It's still important to me. I will play this game the way I want to, right? Alright. So, dialogue. I had a little bit of it showing last time. Level design. AI. It said AI did well last time, so I'm gonna kick that up. I'm gonna kick both of these way up. Let's, let's get going. I'm getting a lot more design points this time around as well, which is good. Because you need at least some design points with every game. World design. Just enough to get by. Let's increase the graphics. It's a computer game after all. It's a game about hacking. There we go. So hopefully I can really pump past previous records. And the TES is released. That's unfortunate for me because I'm going to lose part of my market share for Ninvento's gaming system. Unfortunately, this game is junk. Absolute junk. As you can see, I, I did not break any records. I did get experience, but if you don't break any records in my experience, when you don't break records, your games do really bad. And it's like bad on your name essentially. So to prove my point, I will release that game just to show you guys how bad it is. And I'm gonna have to make a custom engine at this point. You gotta get starting somewhere with these graphics because you have to have it for so long before you can get the next update. So what should I call this? I'll call it charged. Ch 
charged. <coughs> Sorry. Charged for one. Charged creepers. All right, here we go. So, kind of like contract working, it just only pumps out tech points and research points. So, here we go. It's going to be a really bad game. See? And this is why you want to break records. Because you get bad scores, not bad. No, you're supposed to say it's bad, so the silly believe me. 4.5, aka a bad game. It's like, not very good. So, I do somehow get fans and stuff from it, but it doesn't stay on the market for nearly as long as I need it to. And it's just kind of bad on your name to make games like that. So there we go, Charged 1 is complete. So now I can at least make it through. I won't do a game report because I gotta get going. See, now I can make my game use the charged one game engine. As I get more, I can do more stuff with it naturally. So we're gonna go back to a hunting action game. Now, uh, now that uh, we're past the C the G64 and the PC. You'll note it, I'll have to pay a license to everything that's not a PC from here and beyond. So keep that in mind as you get. It. So you want to keep that in mind as you play this game. So, unfortunately, and I'm not really sure why, at this point in the game, you can't make sequels. If you ask me, you can make a sequel to a game anytime you feel like it, but that's not how this game works. So. I'll have to make a new hunting game, so it's gonna be So Boys Shootout. Shoot out. Gonna use the better 2D graphics. No, we don't make game reports when we're making games. So now I can put in a linear storyline if I really felt like it. Save game is always beautiful, as you can tell. That's Got a double minus on there for some reason. I mean, honestly, why the, uh, any storyline will like make your game bad? Because even if you have a bad storyline, at least you have it. Well, then again, no, I, gu I guess I can see where that comes from. So, action game, we want the gameplay, not so much an engine. It's all about that gameplay. So, engine's down there. And eventually, if you get low enough, you can choose little points over here. Eventually, we'll say you can't. You'll have. You'll be only working at like so much. It'll say right here you're only working at 50% what you need to get this done. But that's much later on down the road. So here we go. Gameplay engine. Little storyline. Let's go. I think storylines are beautiful, but that is not how this works. <laughs> Alright, level design is great, dialogue, okay. AI, not so much. Yep, I'm gonna be focusing mainly on level design with this. Mm, yeah. There we go. Mm, there. Okay. I hope I don't make another bad game. Because that would make me sad. Alright, so we got 2D version 2 graphics and our basic sounds. Unless you want to be stupid and turn that off. Because you can't turn off your graphics. I would have been laughing and kind of scared that you could do that. Don't need as much sound. I want this to be a graphic game for whatever reason. Maybe So Boy's Face will make it 18 pixels instead of 2. Or something. Alright, there we go. Seems good to me. Wait. No. I should have turned up the world design a bit more. Oh well, this is not going to be a terrible game. This is actually going to be a really good game. Aha! Music to my ears, old game is gone, the new is coming out, and it's got more stuff to it. Boom! Two new records, that's the first game we've done that with. So that'll do us very good, and as you can see, 2D, 2D version 2 graphics are here. So as this gains more experience, and it levels up, I will be able to get 2D version 3, and so forth. Which is why I wanted to get on that right away. So now I'll do a game report. Well, really, you can only do it on your latest game. 
Wait, no, that's not our latest game. Our latest game is Subway Shootout. Alright, Subway Shootout. I see some tens, see some tens. One of the best! That's right, baby! That's right, Subway's the Subway Shootout good. Let's get a ten up here. Ten? All games, you make me sick. So it's straight eights. That's by far our best game at this point, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Best game since our first game, actually. That's interesting. Usually your first game is pretty bad. Alright. Well, my first game is pretty bad. So that's great for us. So, Subway Shootout. So, AI is, in, is very important. Did not know that action G64 is good. So, let's research a new topic. Dance, sports, comedy, and UFO. All things that I'm not really used to doing. So, you don't get more topics if you don't research the ones you have. So, usually while you're in the garage, it's a good idea. Um, I don't know. UFO. Yeah, I'm gonna do the UFO. Make your notes about UFOs. They abduct people, they scare people. Let's see. Is it surprising? That's what I like to see. That's what I like to hear. The developer of Creeperlands Games is fairly new, but we cannot wait to see what they will develop next. I'll make a UFO game next. That's what I'm gonna do. You have researched UFOs. So next, I probably want to... I've never actually used game tutorials before. It's kind of new to me. So next up, I'll probably do one of these two instead of a new topic. So let's get to it. UFO strategy. Boom. Yeah, I knew that already. Strategy to triple plus, charged one engine. Let's see, UFO. Hmm. What should I call this one? Zapper? Um, Zapper defends. Because the UFOs are coming and he's going to shoot them down like how he shot down all those people in our base on the crack pack server. <laughs> Zapper defends Earth. Can I put down Earth? I can't, okay. Zapper defends Earth. Fine by me. ZDE will be the slang term for it. Alright, poof poof poof. So, storyline. We will have a linear storyline because I want it. Gameplay, very much. Engine, flip it down. Alright, good enough for me. The TES has massive success. They are beating stuff. You are making me sad. My game is not for you, and you make me pay to make games on your system. Okay, level design, beautiful. AI is also beautiful. Dialogue. UFO strategy, level design, through the roof. Okay. Seems good to me. Let's do it. Popping up the stuff. Do it, man. Do it. Let's make another top hit game. Make the sounds a little better. But I still want emphasis on the graphics. We'll have a little bit of world design. Because strategy games kind of need a world for you to run around in, right? I hope I don't shoot myself in the foot by doing that. Sorry, I couldn't suppress it. Okay. Mm, okay. Go. Let's make a great game. I do believe we smashed through the Subway Shootout records in the history of our company. Could be wrong, though. Dang! Free design. Yeah. Alright, we got some great records here. 
we got 2D graphics level 2. Beautiful stuff. So while that's out here, just do some contract work. Character design. I'll do it. Zapper defends Earth. Let me see your tens. You have fallen strategy. It's a great combination. Eight. Very good. I want more tens. How dare you, game hero? See, we got all games to lack it, and now Game Hero dragged us down to 7.75 instead of an 8. What a rude person. Because look at this. 7.75 and an 8. He brought us down by 1. What a rude person. Still, Zapper Defense Earth is gonna be really good. Game. There we go. Give me my money. Game report, Zapper defends Earth. What went wrong? Pretty sure I know. <laughs> you did your first thing! That's what Jason says. Come back in six months. Or months or weeks? I'm pretty sure I meant weeks. Increasing variety of gaming. It's more specialized games. Some platforms become popular with younger. I'm pretty sure this gives me marketing. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Yeah, target audience. Let's see. Engine is important. Really? I didn't know that. Well then, that was my first mess up from making a great game. I think I do best with RPGs. Um... Dang it. I don't like coughing. Let's see. So I can. Ooh, city. That's great. Great for simulation. Let's see. Target audience. Let's do. Let's do game tutorials. I don't know how well they do. I don't know where, where they do or where they do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Zapper Defense Earth is doing pretty well, so that's good, but it's going to come, come off real soon. Alright, so... Got that down and done, so I'll probably research City and Target Audience with my next game, or Monosan, one of the two. But I think here is a good point to sign off. So... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, a like is always appreciated. And I will see you guys next time.